Hey guys, I wanted to leave you with this important message today. And it might not be for everybody, but I'm trusting it's for you. Stop taking things personally. And why I'm saying it's not, it might not be for everybody because not everybody experiences this in the same way. Really, I really recommend right now moving through those different energetic spaces that we're in, the different dynamic. Notice where it's because it's really coming down to the ego and it's really coming down linked to self-worth, linked to self-doubt, linked to maybe strong self-criticism and the unhealthy way that we actually speak to ourselves. But it's really that feeling of like, if whenever whatever happens on the outside is your, is because of you is in some way happening to you you know and that's what i'm saying stop taking things personally maybe noticing uh specific weird things playing out in your reality where like oh wow it could be maybe someone not talking to you all of a sudden or something not happening or something weird going on and immediately you blame yourself you judge yourself and you're like if something is not happening because there's something that you're doing wrong or something that is it's something about you and that is really really it's very important to be mindful of this because it's really wrapped around the energy and the health of our self-worth. Because when you let go of that and you realize that actually not everything is about you, not everything is about you. And this is really linked to that wound the child, you know, and how we grew up. It could be very, a very strong trauma that happened or maybe a coding an ancient code that you've taken on like a pattern or a setting that you've taken on from your parents or whatever that is that very strong egoistic self-judgment or self-criticism and so in those moments i invite you to really stop comparing as well stop looking at what is going on on the outside because what happens is that, that it gets wrapped around. So when something happens, you take it personally, that it's something about you, it's something defining you, it's something that you have done, and that is really the ego that is coming up that wants to either protect or defend. So when it's coming up to protect, it might get you to shrink, it might get you to play small, it get, might get you to uh, contract, you know, hide, and then you find yourself, you're in that rabbit hole or that mental loop of, blaming yourself criticizing yourself judging yourself that you're not good enough there's something wrong with you and all of that and it stops you from shining your light so instead you're in that shadowy aspect where you're sitting with yourself and you're overwhelmed with that dark cloud the other one could be the one that is defending now both of them could happen together where you find yourself that you're defending yourself you might find yourself that you're pushing out something into the external reality because you really want to defend that this is not about something that you've done something about you and what if here you practice to let go that each one has their own journey and that here this journey is about you with yourself and again why I'm saying this is not for everybody because some people out there have a different type of ego expression that they never look into themselves it's never about them it's always about the other people um, and that's what I'm saying it's not for everybody so I'm trusting if you're hearing this it's it's that type of expression because those people actually need something like hey please can you look within yourself can you shift that to look into yourself that maybe what the other person has done or how they responded is because of what you've done so that then you can take responsibility in ownership but here I'm talking as I'm trusting that you're hearing this is when whatever goes on in the outside if something with your work let's say somebody declined or rejected something that you've um, you've offered it's you okay um, if somebody spoke to you in a weird way it's you if somebody stopped talking to you like I was saying earlier it's you if something sometimes even something even like and that gets really wrapped into uh, the spiritual loops like when we've taken on some specific you know spiritual um, understanding spiritual concepts it can get really intertwined that if something is not manifest or is not going your way or something is not you know you did not all of a sudden meet the person that you want to meet and the lover of your life it's like immediately oh it's you right because it's not there so it's you there's more work that you have to do on yourself so this thing is like stop and notice that when it's coming out how can you stop how can you let go how can you practice a little bit more of like you know what this maybe as simple as that you know this could be about me could not be about me if it is about me maybe it will reveal with time but now I let it go and now I focus on me 
because now what goes on as well is that you can start with this world right now with the social media and everything going on is when it gets intertwined with your self-worth you start comparing you start comparing your journey you start comparing your life you start comparing the things that are happening to you with other people it's like oh wow but you know this person is gets all these loves and hugs and likes from other people or wow this person is all of a sudden their life is opening up or their business opening whatever it is and mine is not you see it's about me so that's the energetics that's kind of interesting to notice right now and stop just stop comparing with other people you know why because this life this path is about you with you like just think about it how beautiful it is if you switch the narrative of the movie of the game and the game has always been, you know, this life or this concept of this life or this perspective is that it's about us and everybody else and society and the collective and other people around and you're moving and you're like, oh, but what is this other person doing? Which is really what social media does. That's why I feel like I really dislike it. You know, it's like, why I want to know what other people are doing, you know, but this is what it has amplified for us. It's like other people's lives are more important than ours right and then this energy of like showing off so people are just showing off sometimes their stuff and you're like why are you showing off what you're anyway side drop it but it's like what if we shifted that perspective of like it's you and the other person and the neighbor and the you know mother-in-law and the, i don't know what and it's like everybody's lives intertwined when it's not really that this life from beginning to end you're born alone with your consciousness your perspective i will say you're born alone and you die alone it's you with yourself. You're the, I mean, dying means you're transitioning. You're transitioning into this world, transitioning out of this world with yourself, by yourself. This is you and you. Imagine how life would be different if you start seeing that actually my past, my start and my end are mine. This is my journey, my process. It's we with myself. That would completely change the whole perspective. So just practicing these things and then noticing that all of those, the self-judgment, the comparison, because then, you know, the, the, self, the comparison will start overlapping as well with that self-worth of yours, especially if you're feeling like it's you and you're taking things personally. Then the mind and the ego starts um, putting all these things as a piece of puzzle of like, oh yeah, you see, it's about you. Look, this other person has it better than you. And look at this. It's like, whew, stop. These are all the games, mind games, that the ego wants to play because it's predetermined to do that. And I've done a video about this, the latest energy update, I really recommend you watch it, which is really about right now we're really choosing to rise above those deep predetermined codes and choose something new. And that is one tool, that is one aspect of it. The codes, those codes want to do that. They want you to feel like you're bounded by this and that you will always be in a comparison. You are better and you are below none of that exists and that whatever is happening on the outside is because of you no people have their own stuff they have their own reality and noticing as well that so much of this predestined codes that have been written within you is really linked to you proving yourself and taking on so many actions in your life because you want to prove something because deep down there's a self-criticism the self-doubt that everything on, on the outside world is your responsibility it's on you that you have to make it better and that other people's feelings emotions behaviors is on you and kind of letting go of that changing the narrative of like you don't need to prove yourself this is an outdated game you don't need to prove yourself anymore and noticing again the intention behind what you do what you do is it because you're trying to prove something is it because you're trying to not to escape that feeling where you always want to make it get it right you always want to make the external world and whatever is going on manage it in a great way and you want the great results because otherwise you're escaping that feeling of where you're not good enough and you're criticizing yourself and that then you take things personal so practicing letting go a little bit more of that that not everything is your responsibility and i don't know maybe you're hearing this and you might notice that you have shoulders tenderness you have some shoulder aches or shoulder pains sometimes even rounded shoulders kind of feeling like cocooning closing the heart that's because it's whatever is going on is self-blamed self-hurt and said letting go of that and practicing that and saying you know what it's my own journey with myself i let go of everything else the self-judgment the self-criticism the comparison and try practicing that and see how life will move how life will be different for you 
when you kind of cut those threads, cut those thought process, cut those narratives and change them. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts about this, how you've experienced it, how you're experiencing it. And please, if you like this message, also share it with more people. Like, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel because it will support it. And also you keep updated with my own processes. And if you want to support my work, we can work one-on-one -on -one with me with some quantum energy work or some integration and translating consciousness. Whatever it is, you can check out my website and I'll be happy to see you there. Much love.